I'm Sheila. And I'm Carrie. And today we are back. It's yes. Happy New Year. Yes. Happy New Year. This everyone. is literally the first time we've seen each other. Yeah. Since it's before Christmas. Long. Way yeah. too long. I took a little days. Yeah. Trips. Yeah. And I did my little part time. Oh, welcome back, Kathleen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll, she hasn't you know, been here. We've missed you, by the way. I have been exercising Absolutely. my little fanny off. <laughs> Somebody has to deliver Perfect. the package. Yeah. I did a little temporary job with UPS delivering packages for the last few weeks during the holidays. So she's back. So it's good. Yay. So let's, uh, you haven't done this in a while. You got a word of the day? <laughs> I do have a word. We start with me. Okay. Yeah. So my word is accountability. Oh. It's a new year. Everybody starts making resolutions. But you need an accountability partner because... They laugh at us at the gym, right? They're like, okay, the gym's going to be full for January and February. They'll start falling off in March. Yeah. Rebecca, no, she's a gym rat. <laughs> so um, I have been thinking with my resolutions how I'm going to be accountable and how I'm going to keep my husband accountable for his resolutions. I like that. Very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. accountable. That's yeah. Really is, is your accountability all about, like, the gym and the weight loss, or are you just talking about, like... You know what mine is? Mine is organization. Oh, I am see. so disorganized oh, like, at, my, at my house, <clears throat> and I think that it becomes a time waster. So I'm going to try to be more organized, which is going to make me more efficient. You are so right. Do you know how many times, because we're not organized, it takes us 20 more minutes to find our yes. shoes, 30 more minutes to find our shoes, and then we've wasted. That's a good point. Okay. There you go. I like that word. Accountability. That's my word. Who else has one? Well, you're going to laugh when I give you my word because it's organization. Oh! oh there we go. <laughs> Going. Yes, we do. And and like you, I need, and I mean, that is my vow this year to get organized. We're mm -hmm. moving into a new home in a month or so, and I'm down with the clutter. I'm out with all of that. I'm just, I'm done with it. And so I want to be organized. I want to know, I want everything to have a place, everything in its place. And and I'm, I'm decluttering with the paper. The paper is okay. the biggest problem. Then what that means to me is you chuckle. there's no hope for me. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, I've been to this woman's house and her You're office right. and exactly. everything, and she's one of the most organized people I know. So I'm oh screwed. Yeah. <laughs> if she thinks she's not there yet, we're always there. Yeah. Because I've always oh my God. strived to be more organized, like Sheila. Right? <laughs> that's, that's pretty ironic. You haven't seen in the drawers and the oh closets, gosh. apparently. We got a lot more to keep up with. Yeah. Yes. My word's fresh. And I like the word fresh because it's a new year, like you're saying, and yeah. you keep fresh. But I like fresh, too, because that's what keeps life interesting is if you keep everything fresh, like oh, fresh everything. perfume, a fresh haircut, fresh color, fresh mindset. Stay fresh. That's what keeps life exciting. That's a great word. Yeah, it's good for your marriage, your friendships, your yeah. own self, I think. Yes. Yeah. Mine yeah. is joy. Yeah. And that everybody looks at, they start out a new year, it's, oh my gosh, everything's fresh, it's clean. Well, guess what? There's going to be some things in 2020 when your life's in the crapper. If the things are going to happen, you're going to be in a valley. And you might be in a valley right now, and we're in the first week of, of 2020. And um, find the joy in every single day, even though that doesn't mean you just say, you know, to right. heck with everything. Mm -hmm. But every single day, there is something joyful. And sometimes you've just got to work on, on finding that. So it's finding the joy, something joyful mm -hmm. every day. Right. Good. And even if it's not <laughs> what you think you would be joyful about, you're going to learn or grow from the moment. So yes. that's where the joy is. Yes. Is yes. in the end, and you may not see it for another year, but that happened for a reason. So it, take it in. Let's do a personal challenge. For what? Let's all agree that we'll post on our social media accounts something that we're joyful or thankful or blessed about okay. once a week at least. We'll probably get that going and we'll ask other people idea. to fill in. We'll let Karen yeah, hashtag like it. Then we can, let's do it once a week. Once, once a week. Once a week on your own personal page. Yeah. And everyone join in with us because if there's, you know what? That's funny you say that. I was at a red light yesterday and this <laughs> man went by in his pickup truck. And when he went by, I don't know, I was just kind of smiling and I smiled and he smiled and I thought, that's all it takes. Yeah, we were true. talking before we started filming. Um, I posted a little shout out to my adorable husband who made me a coffee mug shelf. Yeah. Um, you know, I've got so many, so many people liking it and commenting on it. I'm like, the world needs more, more joy. Yeah, it does. I, I always think also, you said sometimes your life's going to be in the cracker. Sometimes things are not going to go well. Mm -hmm. and, and I choose to look at that as, even though it may be a dark moment, it may be a sad time. I choose to view it as it could always be worse. 
Oh, and find, and that's how I find joy, even in the difficult times, because no matter what I'm going through or what a friend is going through, I, I have to remind myself I, it could always be worse. And so you, you have to find thankfulness in the fact that you are where you are, because it always could be worse. Mm -hmm. And we have so much to be thankful for. And later mm -hmm. in our little talk show, um, that is a part of my health segment, my little health segment, it kind of like feeds Great. off this. Right now, we're going to talk about our topic which is, that's so cliche. And I think that's funny <laughs> that you talk about um, accountability and you're talking about organization and fresh and we're talking about words that are kind of cliche for a brand new year and a mindset. So our topic is, that's so cliche. And we were just gonna talk about cliches, but I think they become cliches for a reason. Mm -hmm. Because so many people repeat them because, wow, right. it makes sense, <laughs> right? Right. Like, what's your cliche? My cliche is just do it because that's a Ooh. difficult thing for me. As I walk through my office or at home and I see something that needs to be done and I look at it and I think, but I have to go do this first. And, or I'm thinking about, I need to go take a walk. I need to do this or that. And sometimes I'll make an excuse and not follow through, not do it, whether it's life's expectancies take me away from what I should be doing. And so that's going to be one of my cliche mantras this year. Just do it. Just do it. Make a decision that you're going to walk two miles a day or two miles in the morning or at night or eat healthy or whatever. Just do it. Check it off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just do it. I like it. I can't believe you're saying that because when I was coming in, we were thinking about our show. Remember last year we did a New Year's resolution show? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mine was continue learning to play the guitar. And Lordy mercy, I don't think I picked it up more than three times all of last year. Uh, and honest. I could say I have all these excuses, but excuses are just yeah. reasons that things don't happen. The reasons things are. So I like it. Just do it. Cliche? What do you got? Oh, <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, mine's a cliche that is a, a pet peeve of mine, and that automatically for New Year's resolutions. And it seems to be more females than males that automatically say, I need to lose weight. That is a cliche that I hear all the time. My New Year's resolution to, to lose weight. And that is a, a cliche that's a pet peeve of mine. How do you know you need to lose weight? How do you know? Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. Is sometimes society tells you you're supposed to lose weight. And it just sounds like it's something you're supposed to do. Why not yeah. strive for health? You know, right. yeah. it's um, like an action item, I think. Yes, unless you truly go and have your um, your body fat tested and you're over that 30%, and you need to do that and you need to lose body fat because weight is a very unhealthy indicator of, of health. So, yeah, it's mm -hmm. a cliche automatically. I hear people say for 2020. Very true. It's interesting you say, you know, I talked about switching to vegan, mm -hmm. but I feel like I, I, gained, I started gaining weight. Because mm -hmm. when I went vegan, I was letting potatoes and rice mm -hmm. become my meat that I was missing. And, and corn. The, and corn. And mm -hmm. I'm like, That's I was paleo sugar. for two years before that, so I didn't have all that. Now here I am with bread and wraps and rice and potatoes. And so now I'm so confused. But mm -hmm. I'm trying to make it about health. But going vegan, I actually started putting weight on. So i got to maybe talk to you about that. i got to figure that <laughs> I out. I got this. <laughs> That's our health plan. Yeah, i got to figure that out. Yeah. Um, my cliche is... There's nothing like the present. And I see that with two meanings. There's nothing like the present. If you view everything as a present, like our friendship is a present to me. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, my house and my husband and uh, my job. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely. There's nothing like the present if you just stop and realize why you have something in your life. There's also nothing like the present, which is another good cliche for the new year. Come on, let's do it. That's right. Right now, today's the day. You know, I um, thought about a phrase that people use a lot. I get, I'm not say in real estate, but that confuses me when people use it. And it's like, that's so on point. That's so on point, yeah. People use that in so many different ways. I guess I've started thinking, well, what are they trying to say? Are they saying that's exactly right? And who's it's, point? Are you hitting the mark? Who's so the are you trying to be, are you trying to get to, I don't say correctness, when people use that phrase, but um, maybe they just feel like you're really honing in on the topic that needs to be discussed for the moment. Like right now, if you brought something up and I said, you're so on point, I think I would say that because I feel like you just hit 
at the you moment. hit the nerve with what I really felt like we should that's, be talking about. That's what it is. It's personal. When someone says that is so on it point, is. Mm -hmm. that is a personal recognition Opinion. of yeah, whatever you said is exactly what how I, I feel. Agree. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's on like point I, for everyone. <laughs> right. right. So like, so off point. Man, yeah. you missed yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Start saying that's so off point. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. Yeah. That I'm might stir some trouble. That. Nice. You know, just yeah. I, I see the kids and the millennials with their little catchphrases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw on Fox That's News wonderful. where they have they went out on the street and they were saying, "Should we keep this or get rid of it?" And it was all the little things that people say, like, um, "That's so fire," you know, like in, in things like um, adulting. Yes. Yes. What are these adulting. words we should keep or get rid of for twenty twenty? It's funny to see the the new words that come up. Remember when sick was a bad thing, and yeah. then they turned it into like. Uh, sick. A good thing. Uh -huh. yeah. well, you know what? We should come up with our own words this year, and we're going to see if they really take off. <laughs> we should start. We'll have to come up with one and, and start using it. And see right. it. Well, no wonder the, the English language is among the hardest to learn because we have right. ten meanings for the same word. Right. Yeah, so someone could say that's just sick, uh -huh. and that you have one person who <laughs> thinks sick means ill, and then someone who doesn't know thinks. Mm -hmm. they, they have no idea that that is so sick means that is the bomb. Right. You know? Okay. Bomb.com. Okay. Sorry. I just had a squirrel my head. But then again, all right, we have so many different meanings for different things, different languages, but you give somebody the bird and isn't that pretty universal? <laughs> you know what? That's why you're the crazy one. Because I got your crazy. Yeah. That's so <laughs> for Christmas and it's all of us it's it's kind of we've got uh, Sheila is the kind one Kathleen the smart one Rebecca the crazy one and mine says the strong one and it says I'm pretty sure what's it say on the other side I'm pretty sure I'm we're pretty right. sure we're more than best friends like a small game we're like a small <laughs> yeah. game bring mine today our, Kathleen you and I well, next week we'll next have ours week. yes okay so we got mugs but also yeah. speaking of fresh I'll do this, and then you can do your health tip yeah, after yeah. we have I something see, I see a few yummy. Marks. I know. Oh, I joyous. swear, y'all. I'm such the joyous bakery little Yum. girl. Yay. Here, I have different colors. So, oh, we'll have these nice. So, speaking of fresh, Lovely. little gluten-free brownies oh, for everybody to start off. This is my oh, happy new year. Very nice. Thank you. Little happy new year gift for everybody. Thank you. Plates on them. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. That's pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Now, thank they're gluten-free, so that's healthy. But what else you got for us healthy? Okay. So, I was listening on New Year's Day, actually, to a health coach on television, and she said something that was a light bulb moment for me. <laughs> <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Be very careful with saying, and, and I'm guilty of this, too, even in, as 2020 goes, I have to. Oh, my gosh. I have to go do this. Um, I have to go exercise. I have to go pick up my kids. Oh, I have to go do this. Change those two words to I get to. Mm -hmm. And y'all, that Ooh, was a nice. game a changer for me because there's so many people. Yes. I know I keep touching you. There's so many people. I'll make sure Nicole. I share my share the joy. Yes. Um, yes. Thank you, Lord, that you get to go to work and you get yes. to work out and you get to pick up your kids because there's people that yeah. aren't able to have children or there's people that aren't well enough to exercise. So that was two things that I just started doing and, and changing my mindset and that I get to. That's great. I, I love, love it. To. Can I join yeah. in on that with something you should say too that I think sounds so much better? When someone says, like, Rebecca, thank you for doing that for me, for going to pick that up. And if you went, no problem, that's cool that she said no problem. Mm -hmm. But what if she had said my pleasure? Mm -hmm. Or I'm happy to. My pleasure changes yeah, everything. No You've been at Chick Fil A, haven't you? No. <laughs> do they say that? My pleasure. I've been in Mexico. Yes, my pleasure. Did. My no, pleasure. Like no, but anyway. So yeah, I yeah. like that. I get to. I get to. I get to go to the gym yes. today and sweat for an hour. I get to be here with you three. Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> I get to fit better in my jeans tomorrow because I did sweat. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there there go. Go. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's spreading the joy. Yes. We're going to be spreading the joy, so watch for that on our Facebook pages. Yeah. All right. All right. Y'all have a happy new year. Yeah. It's We're going to be, be back next week. Absolutely. Yeah. See you next week. Okay. Everybody, so